Marin Cilic made the most of Danny Medvedev's lack of ability and confidence on clay to score a confidence-boosting win in the round of 16 at the French Open. 6-2, 6-3, 6-2. It was the Croatian's first success over a top-five player since the Australian Open 2018, where he defeated Nadal in the quarterfinal and went on to finish as a runner-up to Federer. The win against Simon in the third round earlier this campaign is starting to feel like a good omen for the former number world three. In his previous seven meetings with the Frenchman, the Croatian number one ended up on the winning side only once, and he made it big by claiming his only title in slams at the U.S. Open back in 2014. World number 23 was one of the consistent performers in slams for five years between 2014 to 2019, and in fact, he is only the fifth active player and first among non-Big Four guys to have won at least 30 matches in all four slams. Remember that. The former Wimbledon and Australian Open runner-up needs one more win to register his best result in the French Open, which remains the only slam where he has yet to play a championship match. Both of his previous quarterfinal matches in Paris ended in defeats against Stan Wawrinka in 2017 and Del Porto in 2018. Andrei Rublev is lucky to be in the quarterfinal of the French Open as his opponent, Yannick Sinner, broke down physically after making a dominant start to their round of 16 match. The Italian dropped only one game in the first set but soon lost his way and eventually retired in the early stages of the third set, trailing 6-1, 4-6, The Russian is also a win away from registering his best result in Paris. He made it to this stage of the French Open once in 2020 and was beaten in straight sets by Tsitsipas. While Marin Cilic made the most of his talent and achieved big results in big events, the world number seven has consistently underperformed in big tournaments. Having said that, he started to deliver the goods in Masters events from last year, and he is now a very winnable match away from making his maiden semifinal appearance in slams, where he's 0-4 in quarterfinals. This has been an excellent five months for the Russian number two, who won titles in consecutive weeks in Marseille and Dubai and bageled the world number one, Djokovic, in the championship match in Belgrade last month. Head-to-head, -head, Rublev leads 4-2, but 0-1 on clay. Cilic upset the Russian in four sets in the third round of the Australian Open earlier this year, and this is Rublev's chance to get revenge and extend his stay in Paris. But my play? I don't think he'll do it. I'm going with Cilic to win the match at plus 120 as my pick in this game. What say you? What are you doing? Are you liking it? Hating it? Tailing it? Fading it? Do let me know in the comment section below. Always interested to hear your take. But whatever it is you do, remember, get that cash. May the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Positive vibes always. We're all here for the same reason. So let's get it. Take care and we'll see you in the next video. This is Training Rabbit.